you know, not another good display. And obviously, you'd be very disappointed. Yeah, very disappointed. I think, um, you know, um, we've had some good words in there. I think first half, we did okay. Obviously, they scored with a defle deflected deflection um, of the free kick. We took uh, Wits the wrong way. Um, and then we had two great chances. Uh, Glynny's had a chance, open goal. Yeah, I think he, he said he hit it well and he was going in, but it got deflected. But I'm not too sure about that, but it hit the post and came back out. And then Katz has had a really good header. And then uh, I think we've had a couple of half-decent chances. And we're doing okay. We were as good as we were early in the season, but you know there wasn't much in it. And then um, second half, we had a good good, good shot at half-time, saying to come out on the front foot and you know really go for it get back in the game and um, it was the exact opposite. I think um, they bullied the second half, um, pressed us high, give the ball away sloppily, couldn't control the ball, kept passing it out of play, couldn't pass to a, um, a red shirt, didn't get the ball forward, didn't get any crosses in the box. I think the only I think the only shot was what away tried it from the halfway line and then Theo oh. towards the end where he's gone into the side netting so didn't create any chances but I think second half we you know it was way below par compared to the first half. At least we were better first half and created a few chances. Where the second half we got bullied, uh, didn't win any first balls, no second balls, and uh, they ran all over us. And at the end of the day, they deserved the win because we were poor second half. Yeah, it must be annoying for you as well just to see the heads go down. Yeah, um, just spoke about that in there. They seem to, um, you know, when things are against them, which they have been the last few games, and the fans get on the back a little bit. The uh, seem to put the reds down but you can't do that you know as a footballer you've got a, a bit of grit and uh, t determination and um, you know um, be brave mm. be brave to get on the ball be brave to play be brave to tackle be brave to run um, but for some reason um, we're really low in confidence at the moment and it's our job to try and pick them up um, but it's also their job to um, reflect themselves and uh, look themselves in the mirror and see if they're um, you know um, doing the best they can do because at the end of the day you uh, you always look at yourself in the mirror at the end of the day and, and say have I given my best and uh, I'm not sure a lot of them did second half. Yeah I mean there's enough experience in there as well isn't there? Yeah enough experience, um, different team at the moment compared to the first six games you know even the South Shields, Shields game at least you know we were you know we got beat by a better team but we give it a good shot and you know we, we tried our hardest and we were in the game um, but recently we we make a mistake and you know our heads go down and you know the fans get on the back and which they've got every right to because you know they haven't been good enough the last few games. But we need to try and build the confidence back up and get them playing like like they were early in the season. Yeah, I mean, is it time that you look at one or two players and you think mm, maybe maybe not? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Just said that to him in there. Says uh, you know um, a week of training. We haven't got a game for ten days, which could be a blessing. So a week of training and. Um, you know, we'll try and get a few players in as well, which I've told them we've been trying to do for the last week or two. Um, trying to get a striker in, which is <laughs> uh, finding it hard at the moment because they keep saying they want to come and then changing the goalposts the last minute. But um, we only want players who, who want to be here. So, but they know, yeah, they know that they've, um, there's not many chances left, and if we don't start producing, then uh, we'll be looking elsewhere. Yeah, I mean, you touched on that. Then it's not easy bringing players in, is it? No, it's not. You know. Um, you know, you get agents calling all the time. There's players we've been interested, players who said they wanted to come, and then uh, they use it to, uh, you know, either try and get a pay increase or try and get a starting berth in a team or try and get a move to another club. So it's 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 yeah, it's it's quite hard. Um, but we'll keep pushing. And like I said, got a few targets trying to get through the door. But um, I think at the moment the squad we've got is much better than what. They've been uh, showing recently, and uh, they know that they're, they're lacking a bit of confidence, and we need to rebuild them over the next ten games because we've got two uh, tough away games coming up. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, be, you'd be back at it in um, was it ten ten days time something like that. So. Yeah, ten days time. Ten days time against Grantham. So um, you know, um, we've got three training sessions, and Thursday will be tough, and then a bit lighter towards the end of the week going into the game. But um, do a lot of shape and a lot of attacking play and. See if we can um, produce it in the game on Saturday because at the end of the day, it's I just said to him there in training, we're absolutely flying, we look really good, scoring loads of goals, being really creative. But it's easy doing it in training, you've got to do it in a game, you know, when fans are in and there's pressure on you, on you and people are shouting at you, and at the moment we can't cope with this pressure. Brilliant, cheers, John. All right, mate.